Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at the cameras on the iPhone 4. So there are two cameras on the iPhone 4, the front facing one and the main one in the rear. Now I'm using the main one in the rear right now to shoot this episode. It can shoot video at 720p HD, which means it's 1280 by 720. And not only can it shoot video in high def, but it can also use the microphone attached to the earbuds, which is what I'm using as a lavalier mic. Matter of fact, you can even use some third party mics that work with the earbud system as a microphone. So that's really handy and actually puts it above a lot of other high def cameras at this price level. Now the main one is a 5 megapixel camera and it can take still photos and high definition video. It also has a small LED flash that's surprisingly bright and you can use it both taking pictures and also in video. You can actually turn on manually and use it as a light for your videos. It also does the red eye reduction thing which means it flashes once first to dilate the pupils in the eye so you don't have red eye and then it will flash brightly for the main flash when it takes the picture. I noticed a few things about it. One is that if you don't use the flash, if you turn it off or it's on auto and there's enough light, then you can take pictures very quickly, a lot quicker than some digital cameras on a lot of phones that have a second or two delay. Now if you do use the flash, I noticed there's some discoloration. Uh, here's some, two photos, uh, one taken of some flowers uh, with the natural light and then one where I forced the flash on and you can see how the light from the flashes seems to have discolored it. I'm not a photo expert so I'm not sure how common this is with flashes. Now the front facing camera is a completely different type. It's very similar to the one in the iPod Nano in that it's 64480 and it can take video at that resolution and also take still photos at that resolution. Although the still photos aren't good for much more than say maybe a Facebook or Twitter icon. But it is handy to be able to see yourself in the screen and take a picture of yourself at the same time. Of course the main reason for the front facing camera is really the FaceTime video chat, not really taking pictures. But it's nice that Apple allows you to go and switch between the two cameras in both still photo and video mode. Now let's look at still picture quality. Now I think it's pretty good, although I'm not a photo expert, but it doesn't seem to rival an expensive camera, but it certainly is good for a cell phone camera. Now of course there are cell phones that have 8 megapixel cameras in them now, uh, so 5 megapixel may not seem like much, but it's enough for really good prints. And of course the light level is really good. Just like with the previous iPhones, you can take pictures in pretty low light levels and they'll come out pretty decently. Now for the video quality, uh, it's also pretty good, comparable to other small compact HD cameras that do 720p. Uh, you can see some outdoor footage here. Um, it's certainly good enough for capturing uh, family memories. Um, remember about 10 years ago, this kind of thing was impossible on any type of digital camera. So it's kind of nice to have it just in your pocket. So the zoom feature makes a lot more sense now that we have a 5 megapixel camera uh, because you can still get pretty decent resolution enough to get regular size prints uh, even when zoomed in a little bit using the digital zoom. So in this picture we can zoom in and see the pixels here and you can see that the uh, quality is pretty comparable to some of the low cost uh, 5 megapixel cameras that you could find out there. And so certainly no need to carry both the iPhone and a consumer level camera with you anymore. So what's going to be really exciting is looking to the future and to third-party apps. Uh, for instance, I could see a third-party app that perhaps uses both cameras and allows you to capture what's in front and behind the iPhone, perhaps allow me to do an interview with somebody and have us both on the camera. Uh, also, of course, the LED light will probably mean a whole new round of flashlight apps uh, that use the LED light rather than the screen to light things up. And I'm sure there will be a lot of different creative things that switch between the front and back cameras and combine them. So that's a look at the cameras on the iPhone 4. Uh, let me know what you think of the cameras if you've got one. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.